So here's the example automall that I came up with. The assembling machine has to have set recipe so that the input will set the recipe on it and read ingredients so it can send out what it needs. This is a arithmetic computer to multiply the request so that it acts like you normally want the requester tests to act. You have to make sure to have set recipes on it. So it's wired to this and then output to this. Here's the combinator that handles the requests. So the constant combinator is sending out a variable which is the top of how many items you want and then the actual items themselves. And the other wire is from the robot mall, uh, the logistics network. So what it does is it combines, uh, compares those two inputs. So if it is less than the up arrow and both wires are sending it, then it will request it. So let's request... The science is, because I have less than 100 of it, it will request it and I have trash unrequested set to off so that if, if they deliver too much, it will just sit here and then next time it can use it. And let's now also put in the green science. So... Now as soon as it finishes the red one, it will go to the green one, but there is one flaw with this system in that if the item that it's requesting uses some other item, then it can flicker where it will uh, make, let's say you have belts and gears, then it will try to make one belt and then one gear and then one belt, which is pretty bad, you don't want that. So. What I end up using is a selector combinator, which will take one random input and then you can set however long you want it. That means that it might make a little bit more than you specify, but it's not an issue. So let's see what happens here. Oh yeah, it can take a while to start because it's still pulling the last so now it has two inputs, but it will pick one random every time. So with this really simple setup, you can modify it, copy it, and even expand it. So how do you do that? You just copy it like so. Then take the same output and if you put the output from the combinator into, into here And it will get the same inputs, but it will select another random thing. This is how I like to do it. You could also just pull it from the output of the combinator, then they will all be in sync. So... Here you can see that because I was using the logistics things, the system is already making more of them. They can all be in sync with doing that. Seems like I don't have the coppers in the making. But yeah, that's how it works. It's really simple. You don't need like a big array. You just need to request the item.